Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode 7. And I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. I'm here with another guest, my brother, another one of the members. You know what I'm saying? What's good, gangster? Feel me? It's your boy, Spoogie. <laughs> Jordan, though, you feel me? Big Spoogie in the building. See, he was supposed to be here in episode 6, but he folded on your boy. Hey, yo, bro. It was, you feel me? Complications, complications, bro. What was the complications? Work, bro. I, bro, I work a 15-hour shift, bro. That shit kills me. Y'all want to know what the excuse was he told me? That nigga said he was hungover and he didn't want to come talk to y'all peoples, bro. He bruh, said, because I was at a party that night too, bro. I had to wake up at 8 a.m. I got home at 3, bro. It was what, over. What party you went to? It was a random telly. That nigga still be going to tellies. Y'all all fit in that shit, bro? It, was, it wasn't worth it, bro. <laughs> it wasn't. It's your man ish, bro. He be trying to get drunk at like 9. The party gonna start till 11, bro. I was done up already. I said, I gotta go home. Nah, you know how you be, though, bro. He be trying to turn up for no reason, bro. He ain't be the man when I do nothing. <laughs> it's just be chilling, bro. That's just his state of mind. I guess, bro. Nah. But, anyways, y'all, follow all the socials linked down below, all the Instagrams, TikTok, all that stuff. No regulars on TikTok, no regulars dot pack, oh, dot podcast on Instagram. And we on Spotify and Anchor at No Regulars uh, Podcast, so tune into that. But, you know, I have, I have to have you on the show because you know you're my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Big gangsters in the building. You know the vert. You know all the good memories we had back in the days. You used to go crazy back in high school, bro. You used to go crazy back in high bro, school. Bro, nah. When I met y'all, bro, you didn't even want to be with me. You didn't even want to be my friend, bro. You trying to dub me. <laughs> nah. I said, yo, bro, I'm trying I'm trying to get good in, ga- good in basketball. I'm trying to get to the team and stuff like that. He said, yeah, bro, go to, go to the Union Panthers. No, damn well, he didn't even like that team. Not even part of it no more. <laughs> he tried to set me up to go to the wrong team, bro. But did, it didn't work out? No. Why did it <laughs> I had no faith in myself, bro. <laughs> See, you know what's funny? Like, we was dead on the same bus, and I didn't talk to you for a good two years. Like I used to walk past you. Bro, because I ain't want to jack nobody in the morning, bro. You know how it was in the morning, bro. Bro, this nigga was a zombie in the morning. Bro, I can't jack nobody, bro. Oh, wait, wait. Before we start, I forgot to tell you. What I'm doing here now on my podcast, so I'm trying to cut down on my cursing. You could curse. If I curse more than, uh, what I say, 20 times, I'll give you $5. Well, I don't even know if I'm going to peep that shit, though. No, but I'm going I'm to go back into the footage and count and stuff like that. So I'm going to have like $5? A, yeah, you get $5. So what do you curse 40 times? Then you get $5. That be... if, you get, if I curse 40 times, you get $5. That's 10. That's 10. What do you mean 10? You Hell said, no. You said 20 is 5. No, it's not. It don't double. Why not? Because that's, that's not how it works. That's not even fair to him. <laughs> what do you mean? That's not even fair to him. You're lucky you're getting $5. I was going to make it a dollar. Nah, bro. So there's going to gonna be a little counter right here, hopefully. But we'll see. Why well, I imagine it, bro. Y'all see it right there, bro. Maybe I'll get it like a little button or something like that. That's what my friend bro, told you me to do. put something video, a little dare's counter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But you know when I first heard about you was when you fought that kid in my class? You talking about Malcolm? Yeah, he was in my Yo! class. He was telling <laughs> Yo, why was everybody necking at me that day, bro? Bro. It was Chris and Zaki saying, oh, he, he, put a, he put a titty in your forehead and stuff like that. <laughs> bro, I kid you not. The shit went down. Also, it was hella people jumping on top of me. I had Bogan, my teacher on top of me, pulling me. So who won the fight? I did. Oh, me, I, me, oh, me, I, I did. oh nah, I, I think I hit my head on the table. I think it was like, <laughs> Bogan, you know, Bogan big as hell, bro. I think he like got on top of me. I like hit my head on the... On the on the table? Yeah, bro. Shit was critical. Because Malcolm came back. He was gone for like two weeks. You know what was disrespectful? What? He tried to steal my headphones like a week or two after that. Why? Bro, he's he just a menace, bro. <laughs> and I let him slide. Dang. Dang. That's tough. That's tough. Bro, yo, I'm such a nice person, bro. And then later on, I gave him a pair of Bug Bunny 8s and some True Religion jeans. After you fought the kid, you gave him after, some. After, he, after I fought him, after he stole from me. Damn. Damn, bro. Oh, my God. And, he's, and he still talk shit, bro. Yo, <laughs> little, yo, bro, I remember I was in a PS4 party. Chris and Zaki, I think he invited him randomly, bro. Just talking. Yeah, bro, I beat that nigga ass and all that. I'm You're like, lying. Right, I'm like, all right, bro. Get out of here. Because we, it was me, Chi-Chi, and Trevor <clears throat> in that class. And we was talking to him about it. We was like, yo, so what happened? He's like, yeah, bro. Like, I molly whopped him. Yo, <laughs> who says that, bro? Who says that, bro? He said molly whopped. We was like, oh. And that's all we didn't bro, know you at the time. Bro, the way he talked to, like, he be twitching when he be talking. Like, he be like. I don't know, bro. He be on them drugs, bro. But remember what everybody used to know you about high school? Know what everybody knew you for in high school? Remember? You talking about that. The, the bird, bro. Yo! <laughs> you gotta chill off of that, bro. Yo. Yo, basically, 
Zaki, Zaki done live, put a lie on me. Here's a picture. No, it was oh, Javon. No, it was Zaki, it bro. It was Zaki? It was a kick chat. <laughs> Everybody's saying random stuff. Zaki throws a picture of a bird with semen <laughs> on it. <laughs> so, you know, later weeks go by. For some reason, I find that picture again, and I just send it in the chat. But when I send it, everybody want to get on my ass. But when he did it, no one even said nothing, bro. Everybody thought he everybody thought, it on the bird. Everybody thought it was on some weird stuff, bro. <laughs> like, everybody was going around. Even people on my basketball team were saying, like, yo, you know that boy that nutted on the bird? Yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> that's really crazy. Yo, even te- I think teachers low-key even knew about that shit, bro. Well, the teach, Freaking, I don't know if you remember. Miss Whitley, the social studies teacher, she kicked me out of class, bro. Why? <laughs> because I was failing, bro. <laughs> Wait, you was failing? Bro, but you know you know Ian? Yeah. Bro, he had the same grade as me, but she let him slide. I Wait, so how'd she kick you out the class? Like she, she just, was she just didn't she wasn't fucking with me, bro. <laughs> bro that was I, like No, I just I did some mad shit like that. I had went it's like me and Jakai, my cousin went to like a uh, uh, a cabin in, in PA for Isaiah's birthday. And one of these days, you know you know right? Yeah. He was sleeping. I put my nuts on his face. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yo. There's a whole video and picture. I don't know where it's at, bro, but I violated him. Yo. I feel so sorry, bro. Yo. I would never, I would never do no one dirty like that, bro. Wait, Young what? And naive. You put your, like nah, bare was, balls on his face? Nah, I was on his nose. Though, but you. <laughs> Wait. No, nah, no, that no. Shit, that shit was Max. Wait. Yo, he woke up swinging, bro. <laughs> Swinging, I'm like, no, nah, I dip out, bro. Wait, your bare balls was on his face? My sack, bro. <laughs> Yo, skin to skin nah, contact. Nah, I wouldn't be mad at, like, I wouldn't blame him for swinging, bro. That was actually max. Nah. <laughs> That's like levels of disrespect. That's really crazy. Nah, 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 that, that was max what I did. I blame, um, Jakai was kind of part of it. He went instigated. Yo, go ahead, bro, go to it. Bro, you know how Jakai is a little instigating self. Oh God, my weird, God, bro. bro, that is funny. Hey, bro, we got my man going on rolling loud with us, though. That is, that is true. Dude, that is crazy, bro. So, so tell me, so how's rolling loud going? So what's bro, going on, bro? All right, so I think, <coughs> literally rolling loud like in like a week. Is it really? And we we haven't got a place yet. Like to stay? To stay. We've been looking at Airbnb. I had one place up, bro. It was like a couple days ago. No, oh, it was like 14 minutes from the place for me. It wasn't it wasn't that expensive. Like I bought it. Literally the next day, guy texts me, I can't have you stay no more. A car crashed into my house. A car crashed into That's exactly what I said. I'm like, what in the random <laughs> shit is this, bro? A car crashed into the bro, house? A car, bro. I'm Where like, is no way. Where is it? In it's the in Bronx? New York. It's in Queens. <laughs> bro, and I'm like, all right, bro. There's no hotels you can stay at? Uh, I'm trying to get Airbnb. I don't really want to do no, oh, okay, no okay. OD. That's I, so random. So then I, I I had to get a refund. So I had to wait like two days, bro. I'm like, yo, bro, I need my refund so I can just book another place or y'all can book it for me. Bro, I had this other place up. He said, yeah, you know, I'll wait for you and get your refund money. Hit him next day. I said, yo, it ain't come yet, but I'm going to get it tonight. He said, nah, somebody booked it already. Wow. They did you dirty like that, bro. And then I went to go book another place. The dates weren't there no more. My days, bro. I'm yeah. kind of sad as hell, bro. So when's the day start? It's the 28th to the 30th. Yo, you should come with us, bro. Yeah, all right. I ain't spending that money, bro. <laughs> bro, it's on scene. It's, it's going to be a movie out there, bro. Nah, I'm good off all that, bro. Bro, it's going to be like at least like over 20,000 people. There might be more, bro. This is going to be in the Met Stadium. Hella Rona, bro. Yo, I'm going to see my... I see mean, you know what? You already had the Rona, so... Yeah, I got the vet, but still, I got social anxiety. You're lying, bro. Don't give me this excuse, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm going to be bullying people in there, bro. It's over, bro. Who's going? Is Lil Uzi going? Bro, yeah, he's going to be like the, the last headliner. Bro, but you know it's right after him, 50 Cent. I'm like, yo, we ain't going to go to Uzi 50 Cent. Like, we're trying to get jiggy with that right after that, bro. It's over. That's a little random. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's funny, bro. So, when is it again? You said October 28th? Yeah, So, y'all still don't have nowhere to stay? Nah, I'm waiting for these people, bro. They, they, they're they playing with me, bro. So, who's going? It's me, Ish, Jakai, and Chris. That's it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was more people. Nah, yo. Nah, but then I'm going to this other concert in December. What is it? It's, an, it's Playboy Cardi shit. It's, like, it's called like a narcissist tour. Narcissist? Playboy Cardi's a weirdo. Nah, he is weird, bro. I don't like him, but I love him at the same time, bro. He's a creep. He blows my shit, bro. He's a big creep. He blows my shit. Oh, my God.
Yo. Oh, remember the all, all the little adventures we used to go go on when we was in um high school, bro? Like that one in Springfield. Wait. At night. What happened at night? The one in Springfield. When we was looking for clowns? We found the Beligaloo, bro. Wait, what? Ran- it was a random ass shit we found in the woods, bro. Wait, what was it? I forgot. Oh. You got to jog my memory. Bro, I swear to God, we was walking in this shit in the dark, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, I seen eyes, bro. It was over, bro. Niggas, Niggas started panicking, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about it's a lion. And then which one we went to before? The one with the train tracks? Yeah. Oh, my boys got stung by bees, bro. Who got stung? Was that you? No, it was us, bro. We got je- we got jumped by a whole bunch of bees. We was walking on, on the... On the tracks? On the train. You know the tracks is, The bro? abandoned tracks, yeah. Bro, hella bees started going crazy. Was it wasn't there, bro. Was it me, you? Nah, I was. I don't think it I was there for that me one. You ish, bro. And Collins was there at one time. Cause remember he threw your bike when oh. he went to Dunkin' Donuts. Oh yeah, <laughs> yo niggas is crazy, bro. Don't fucking disrespect. Me, bro. He did picked it up and just threw it. I don't know what was going on, bro. Like my man's Collins be getting, he be getting lady now nowadays, bro. What you mean, bro? Like my man, my man be getting. Man, you getting a little, little, little smoky. Nah, nah. That's just, what I'm saying, bro. Nah. I didn't even, I didn't even know my man was like that, bro. Since when? Cause we had went to Savion's party, and he was doing. Oh my god, man, my man was uppity up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, but not free him, bro. Bro, but, nah. I think next year I gotta really try to throw a party at my house. <laughs> See, if we have a party at your house, me and Jay gonna be the people in the front getting the money. Oh, I, I can respect, respect that. That's dude, respect. Bro. All right, all right. We're right. gonna watch the liquor. My man, UJ gotta watch the liquor. <laughs> Niggas gonna steal that shit. Yo, oh, shit. nah, the real question is this, though. When are you going to get drunk with me and you, Ish? What do you mean? Like, you touch the stars, bro. I did touch the stars. We're touching the stars right now, bro. We're enlightened right now. Nah, when you're on nah. this podcast, you're enlightened, bro. You're gonna be enlightened. I need you to take these supplements and what? feel if it feel extravagant. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I'm bro. high off life, bro. You gotta take some shot at Everclear. What? Isn't that like forty percent? Ninety nine percent alcohol. Ninety. Bro. Isn't that that's basically hand sanitizer? And it busts, bro. <laughs> you're crazy, <laughs> nah. Nah, that. That shit burns my insides, bro. I'm gonna get drunk with Jay first, though. Ah, that's respect, bro. That's All respect. Right. Then you low key gotta try to get drunk with your father. Your father don't drink, right? Nah, he do once in a while, he but be, not like nothing crazy. He be drinking beer. Yeah, like he drink like Corona when he watches the football games and stuff. Corona, why? That's you know the little old people stuff. Nah, you gotta get. Nah, y'all see, y'all, 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 y'all gotta get into a wine though first. I feel like y'all like wine. No, wine is healthy too. You, I promise you, wine is like a little soup. It's like drinking juice. What kind of wine though? I'm so thinking like red, red wine. Yeah, red wine. Bro. Red wine is good. Red wine. Red you be wine. drinking wine? Nah, even clear white wine too is is it's just beautiful too. You be drinking that stuff? Uh, I I used to here and there. Like what? Just as like just cause? No, nah, like I think the last like when the last time I drunk that shit, I think it was low key kind of with Chris. It's like a whole white white bottle, bro. Oh. Like, oh, she, had oh. Me, she had me feeling groovy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah. even, it's not even like you're getting drunk. Oh, D, but like, you just, like, he was taking shots and all that, bro. Like, you it's just like feel a, loose. Like, it's like a smooth, like a smooth drunk. <laughs> like a smooth tipsy. This was recently or this is a while ago? This is kind of a while ago. That was funny, bro. I don't know about the getting drunk thing, but we can still, we can sip some of this stuff. You don't even know what's in my cup. Yeah, I'm drinking this, this dirty, this dirty water right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dirty water. Yo, yeah, remember we used to drink, you used to drink Coke every day? Yeah, there was a time period. You see him now. He looks a little fit. There was a period in time when he was chubby. He got fat in like a week, bro. He went to Florida, ate like a pa- three packs of Oreos, and drank a Coke every day and came back with love. Bro, angle, bro. I still be fucking Oreos up OD, bro. It's bad. It's bad, bro. Like, bro, you- I'm tr- I try to stay. I try to, you know, eat clean. Like, recently, I found a new snack to just, you know, substitute for everything. What? Banana and peanut butter. Okay, that's not bad. That shit is so delicious, bro. Like, you get the banana and dip it in the peanut butter? Like, you know how, like, the peanut butter, it comes, like, like a pack, like a ketchup pack, you can rip it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just put this shit in my banana. That shit be busting. This shit feels like a full course meal, I swear to God, bro. Okay, that's actually, that's not, that don't sound that bad. That shit's busting. I wish I could do with apples, though. Mom allergic to apples. You're allergic to apples? Yeah. My mouth is getting itchy, bro. Are you sure that's and- not, like, the pesticides? Like, I don't know, like, bro. Because you got to wash your fruit. I don't even know, bro. Mm. Even almonds. I found I'm allergic to almonds. Really? Bro, that shit is crazy, bro. Like, I be trying to... I was drinking almond milk with cereal. That shit... Yo, I felt like I was choking, bro. I'm like, really? yo, what is going on? When bro? was this? This was recently? Yeah, bro. So, wait, you never had almonds before that? No, I did, but like... 
Oh, you like just... I would get itchy, but I'm like, eh. I try to, but like recently because I was eating them shits too, out of granola bag. Oh, that shit fucked me up, bro. Really? Cause so, I know Jay's allergic to all like the tree nut stuff. So what, what like sunflower seeds? Not like nah. pecans, oh. almonds, all them stuff. Like, but she can eat peanuts though. I fuck with peanuts now. Mm, I don't. I don't like nuts. I like bro. the extra protein now, bro. I be putting that shit in my protein shakes too, bro. Do you protein. still go to the gym, bro? Yo, you don't even go to the gym, bro. Cause, bro, it's basketball season. I don't need to anymore. Nah, yeah, I still go to the gym. I'm supposed to go today. Kind of folded. What happened, bro? Life. Oh, bro, I was gosh. tired for no reason, bro. You always just be tired, bro. Bro, leave me alone, bro. Like, I gotta you... stop being lazy. I think that's one of my things, bro. Just, I gotta get out of that habit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Just, look, you know what's a good way to get out of your laziness, bro? Make your bed every morning. Do you make your bed every morning? No. You have to make your bed every morning. Bro, you know who it be, bro? It be the quarter and boomer, bro. Why? Bro, they be on my bed. And he'd be warm as hell. I'd be like, damn. And then I get up and they just lay in my bed. So I'm like, right, I'm gonna let y'all sleep, bro. So I don't even bother waking my, I don't even be bothering making my bed. Oh, you got to, son. Like, what I learned, bro, <clears throat> it takes two months to make a, a good habit. Like, to get into, like, a habit of something. That's a, that's a lot of work. <clears throat> it's a lot of work. But, like, I started doing making my bed, like, in the summertime. And now, like, once you make your bed, it's like, all right, that's one thing down. Then you start jotting other stuff down. Then you start, the whole day just goes, bro. No, nah, I think my whole day really just goes. If soon as I, soon as my room is done, you know that shit's clean, then I feel like my day is completed. Uh. As bad as that shit sounds, though. This nigga be telling me Yo, you gotta clean the whole house though. I'm like, nah, bro. Be With your bro. parents? Yeah, I mean, well, I do, but like, he be wanting me to do the extra shit, bro. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. That's funny as hell, bro. Yo, hold up, bro. Let me really say this real quick. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> do days end? What do you mean, do days end? Do days end? Ooh, like, do you mean like there's? A, I mean, technically. They do. The day never ends, bro. That? Your day ends. My day the ends. The day always continues, bro. Because everybody has a different day. Yeah, but like, the universe doesn't stop. Yeah, duh. I mean, but like, officially it ends. Like, we have to jot down, like, this day's over. But like, no, it will never stop. It's because we're going to sleep. The day just is always continuing. So like, t- you're saying time now. Ne- oh, cause, like, time never stops. Of course it don't stop. I mean, yeah, but yeah, but like, you got to understand, though, bro. Like, the day never ends, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you, this day's never going to end. <clears throat> no, it's just, it's just gonna continue to a brighter day. So do you? Th- so what if there was no time, like no jotting of time? Uh, I don't even know. Like how do you think life would be? I don't know. I feel like time, low key, is high key everything, bro. It is. Like time. I feel like time is what high key makes the universe in certain ways, bro. I mean, it has to. Just imagine. There, imagine there was no clocks, no calendars, no days of the week. Which is like, we're just fuck. waking up and just going. So I'm saying. What if we had a society like that, bro? I feel like it wouldn't even be that bad, bro. Everybody wake up on it. But, like, the way the way shit would be operating, it won't be as efficient as... It is now. Yeah. I feel like time like, makes us organized. That's what I'm saying. I feel like that's why we, we humans made words and stuff like that, so we could be organized. I always talk about this all the time, like, but I don't know where words came from. Bro, let me tell you something, bro. All right, I'm not trying to sound like a little trippy, little little psychedelic person, but Go like, ahead, bro. all right, you know what mycelium is? My What's that? mycelium, I think it's like some roots from like mushrooms and fungus and all that stuff. Yeah. So like back back in the days when like humans were first, you know, coming up and all that, they were eating this. Yeah. So, you know whatever, and when they start having these psychedelic experiences, they start seeing and hearing shit. Like hallucinating. Yeah, and it kind of made them kind of not saying made them smart as fuck, but like it made them get certain ideas. Uh-huh. So I'm saying that shit probably made them, you know, oh, let me make make these signs now so everybody can understand what I'm trying to say. Uh-huh. You know, there's a there's a theory that says like um, people who do like like drugs and stuff and get high like like right now when you're sober, that's when you're like not in the right frame, but when you get high, that's when you're like in the real universe. It's like, right, so right now I'm asleep because I'm sober, but when I get high, that's when I start unlocking all the truths. And that's why it sounds so trippy, but really, what if that's the truth? I think it depends on what you're taking. I think think that's if you take them crazy (laughs) shit. Like acid? Yeah. Or what's that called? LSD or something like that? Uh, no, that is acid. Oh, that's acid? That's like motherfuckers taking like DMT. What's DMT? Some crazy shit. It's like, you know Joe Rogan? Yeah. He fucking loves that shit, bro. What is it? Bro, you literally have a fucking massive trip for like... A trip is when you know start going crazy. Yeah, match for like five, ten minutes, bro. You feel like you're in there for eternity. I, 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 every time everybody explains it like that, bro. Remember that thing you was telling me about Uzi was gonna take this drug, and that's why he said he's gonna die when he's 27. Yeah, DMT is literally that's, what, that's it. That's what it is, bro. Isn't that what Mike Tyson took? Yeah. Wait, is it? It's like 
Yeah, but he took like some Mike Tyson took like a certain type of DMT. It's like like the way they get this shit is just crazy. You get it from a frog. How you get it from it's like you popping pimples on a frog? It's like some frog in like I think South America or something like that. Where they so how do you take it? Do you like do you eat it? They, nah, they like pop it on a on a glass and they scrape it and then they let it dry and then they I think they smoke that shit. What yo people be doing that's, weird? That's, that's weird. how do you that find shit, that, that out? That shit's crazy, bro. How do you figure that out? I think literally from like. From like ancient times of people just doing ra- trying random, random shit, bro. I tell you, people. I feel like throughout ages, people really just did the most weirdest shit to get get a, a reaction out of him. I mean, that's what didn't all the um, Native Americans like smoke weed all the time? That's why they so like high. No, I think the motherfuckers are just busting off a hell of tobacco. Oh yeah, tobacco. You know, I was watching um, a thousand ways to die one time when I was a kid, and like there was a there was a time when there was like a, a two guys and they was on a farm and they was just smoking weed and they ran out so they was like, let me smoke anything. They started smoking grass. They started smoking like cow poop, and then they started. They smoked a plant that was like poisonous, and they died. Yo, like they just started what? rolling up everything. See, that's being a super fiend. Like, bruh. just imagine. Like, they was just on a farm, just rolling. Like, they rolled up cow poop, bro. Bro, people they do some shit where like they like. I think they roll up weed, but like they put it in like, um, I think they put it in like some type of car oil. That shit, but it like kills people, bro. That shit's crazy. Who you, you, thinks you, of this? You heard about lately, like. It's like a it's like a news recent like they saying watch out because certain weed is being laced with fentanyl. Yeah, yeah, that's isn't that what most isn't that the stuff that could kill you? Yeah, I think I, I think that's how DMX died too. I think he got coke. I might be I might be wrong. I might be, but like I think it was coke, but that shit was laced with fentanyl. Really? People are crazy, bro. I'm like, you really go through your day saying mm, let me just put this extra stuff in there for them, bro. That's what happened. Like you ever watch um Ozarks? What is that? It's a show on Netflix. I think you should watch it. It's a it's about a guy who was in uh financial advisor and he works for the mexican cartel and he like money launders for them so like you know what money laundering is and then we're like you're kind of borrowing money no it's like so say like the mexicans they have like this money they have like millions of dollars right Mm -hmm. but it's all in cash so they can't put it in the bank all at once oh they're just holding that shit yeah so they give it to him and like he invests it into businesses like they say that's how Toyota, not Toyota. So in a way, he's like their agent. In a yeah, way. he's like their aid, like with the money. So they he get they get millions of dollars and like to hide the money because it's basically like stolen funds. Mm-hmm. He invests it into businesses. Like he buys like funeral homes, churches, and he just so like they can make that money back in clean cash. That's and they say that's how um. Wait, that's like based off of like some real shit. Or, nah, it's not it's a real it's, story. It's a TV show. It's a TV show oh, on Netflix. But they say that's how Verizon was made off of money laundering. Like Verizon. Somebody, yeah, they said somebody like was money laundering for the cartel and they put money and they made a Verizon. But I don't know about all that. That's a Verizon such a random thing to That's me. what I said. I don't know. But it could happen. But like if you watch that show, you really think you could like money launder because the way he does it, it seems easy, but I'm getting off track. Oh, but anyway. So yeah, the You gotta get hella cash. You gotta get hella but like they was giving him cash. So like he's good with money. So like he's basically an investor. So he takes all their cash and he gives it to like these local people like, yo, I'm going to invest $100,000 in your business. Here's cash. They take the cash and they use it to make stuff. And then he gets the funds back, like profit back, some sh- something shit, like that. that sounds like some shit you can really do in reality. They probably do. Yeah, nah, they hire, definitely do. You got to hire an accountant type shit. Mm-hmm. To do all that That's stuff. what he basically was. But low key, like I wouldn't be surprised there was a bunch of accounts that do that nowadays. You know, for freaking Pablo Escobar back in the days, he definitely had somebody to do that. He had so much money, no bro. No doubt, bro. He definitely had people doing all all of his stuff for him, bro. bro he made four hundred fifty like million dollars a day, something like that. I feel bad for his wife right now, bro. She in some shit. Why? Why, man? I think like they basically saying you got to snitch on your kids. Dang. That's what I'm saying. Would you <sighs> snitch on your kids? No, I think I'm just gonna hold it in, bro. Cause that's messed up. I don't think. Cause like the aftermath, like you're gonna. Feel that for the rest life of your life. Prison's pretty cra- it sounds pretty crazy. It's bro. really bad. I mean, <clears throat> for them, <clears throat> they probably got connections, so I don't think they'll be all right. Yeah, but still, you could be outside laying on a damn couch playing your shit. You got to be in a damn box. I know. You probably always going, thinking to yourself. Mexican prison is the worst, probably. <sighs> but, but yeah. Anyway, back on the fentanyl thing. So, they he was like helping. So there was like the people that made like heroin, and. They was like doing business with the Mexican cartel, and some lady that was selling the heroin didn't like the cartel, so she would 
she put fentanyl in the in the heroin and they gave it to the cartel and they distributed it and killed hella people. Yo, what? Like she just dumped it in there and just did she did she do it on purpose? Yeah, like, she did it on purpose. She said, fuck these fuck these motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> because they basically took their whole business. So it was like, nah, after I'm gonna put all this stuff in there and kill all these people. Yo, you And like everybody was wondering, like, where did all this fentanyl come from? And then they didn't know it was her. They blamed it on the guys Yo, that were selling what it. What is fentanyl? Is it, is it like some... I think it's like a chemical. Some chemical? Some chemical. It's something like... I think they put it in pesticides. I don't I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on none of this, but I don't know. People are sick, bro. I don't know where people find that stuff from. But, nah. What I wanted to talk to you about was... Do you believe that there's different dimensions in the world? Yeah. Most definitely, bro. It's over. Like, you think that... you Do you think there's like a parallel universe? There's literally another dimension of us... At this moment, having a different conversation. I promise you. You think so? It's a paradox, bro. Yeah, like the little um, what's that called? Like the like it's like a branching off, like, like uh, branches. Wormhole, bro. Nah, yeah. This most definitely. I think there was like a, some research saying that like, they found like evidence of like another dimension. Yeah, like a portal. You watch Rick and Morty? Yeah, I watched. Started watching Rick and Morty. Yo, Rick and Morty literally tells you like there's so many multiverses, bro. What if the guy that made Rick and Morty is from another dimension and he's just explaining how everything works? I mean, that's like the guy low key from that did Simpsons. Yeah, I know. Saying he's a time traveler. Yeah, I don't know about. I mean, that, I don't know about all that, but like, eh, eh, that's a good idea. But let me tell you something about like I I read a story right. So there was a guy who went to Japan, and he he had his passports and stuff, and they was like, oh, he's like, oh, this is my third time in Japan. Like I'm here for a business trip, and he's like, okay, he's like gave yeah, him a, gave him his passport. It said. He's from Turid or something like that. Hold on, let me see. Turid. It's called yeah, Turid, Turid. And he said it's in between Spain and Portugal. No, France. Spain and France. It's a country. And they was like, where's like this? That's not a thing. He was like, and then he was laughing at him. He's like, what do you mean? Like this is like this is where I'm from. He's like, it's on my passport. And the guy had an official passport. Like it had stamps saying he moved around the world and stuff like that. But it said he's from Turid. It's, it's spelled T A U R E D. And like they was also confused. It's like. I'm sorry, but this is not a normal, like, this is not a, the, a country. Like, they showed him a map and everything. And he was, like, he was, like, getting mad because he was, like, this is where I'm from. Like, why are you guys not believing me? So they was, like, all right, you guys got you to gotta come with me. So they took him to a hotel to, like, leave him there for a little bit so they can, like, discuss, like, what the hell's going on. Like, they don't know what's happening. Like, they say he's from another country that doesn't exist. And okay. then the next day, he disappeared. Oh, that he had to be from a whole nother world or something. They said like he that. came from another dimension. So I'm saying he came from another dimension where that world was there and he came to this world where that world wasn't there. That's what I'm saying. Like they showed him a map and he was getting mad because he was like, Wait, that's not the this is not the right map. That's a show? It's not a show. It was like a story that actually happened. Yo. Like just imagine, bro. That's creepy. Imagine someone's coming back saying, Yo, you know Pangea? <laughs> saying some shit about that, bro. Like I'd be wild. Like just imagine. There's like people that's that's walking around us. That's um, people walk around as no, then from a different dimension. I mean, you heard, it's not another dimension, but you heard about that Zodiac killer guy. Yeah, I heard they found out like who he was or something like that after yeah, all these years. That's that's crazy, bro. So do you know? What, I don't know what the the whole story of the Zodiac thing was. I think uh, I don't know. I think he just killed he killed people mad on, people on certain on certain types of days of the month. Uh huh. And he did it like in a in a in a in a certain order, but I like, think he, he went ghost for like. Like 50 years. years, right? Yeah. So they finally figured out. They said, I remember they was having like memes and it was like, you know how they made a movie about him? They made, yeah, they made like four, three or four movies about him. Yeah, so they was like, what if he was in the movie theater just watching his own movie he about his life? He probably was, bro. <laughs> and he was just <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine you watching the Zodiac and you just see somebody laughing in the back, somebody getting stabbed. That's, he just, that's similar to like people watching on news after they just murdered somebody. Exactly. But nah, he kind of crazy though. He probably didn't care. Yeah, but that's crazy. He... He probably didn't give a fuck if he got caught, bro. I don't know. I mean, you think he's still alive nowadays? I don't think he is. Oh, no. I think he's dead. Okay. Well, that makes sense. It's whatever, bro. Like, you know, and there was, um, you know, there's a, there's a study that says you walk past, like, 36 murderers in your life. Or eight. Something like that. Somewhere equivalent to that. <laughs> like, just imagine. You're walking past a murderer. Bro, i will be feeling like that, and I'd be low-key walking through every time. Like, Yo, what you, what are y'all motherfuckers out here doing some shiesty? I don't know what y'all did. <laughs> he said Irvington, nah, bro. Let me stop. Yo, like my boy from my basketball team, right? So I had a, we had like a little conference today. So I was bringing back home, and he's from Virginia. Like he went to Oak Hill and stuff like that. So he was telling me how Virginia is and how it's like really like uh, wooded areas. And he was like, yo, 
like just imagine like right now as we speak somebody is like trapped in somebody's basement yo like that's great like somebody went missing and is trapped in somebody's basement yo, there's hella stuff about people going missing nowadays they just found someone it was about the it was like it'd be on twitter about um maintenance man sneaking into girls crib and yeah stuff like that. jay told me about that it was like a maintenance man stuck like he um some girl like I then guess he, he asked her. Yeah, and she was like, "Nah, it's D for you, bro. Don't come in." He said, "Nope, I'm already inside." I'm like, "What? What the fuck you mean?" I heard. I heard like he was like trying to talk to her, and she like dubbed his shit, and then he came in and just killed her. Or like, I, yeah, she went missing. I think yeah. they, they said he found her body, like, at her, at at her apartment or his apartment. That's crazy. And, like her, bro. her blanket and bullet bag was in his car. Mm, like God. the family confronted him. He was like, "Nah, I didn't do none of that." Right. Like, we dead be living... Like, our lives, we be living in a real-life movie, but we don't know about it. Like, somebody could be trapped in somebody's basement screaming for help. I don't like thinking about it. I don't like... That's crazy. That's so crazy, bro. Like, I just... Like, that's scary as hell, bro. Bro, I would never get caught lacking like that. Nah, I thought about it so many times. Like, yo, what if someone kidnaps me, bro? What are you gonna do? Like, in that situation? I don't even know, bro. I don't know what I could do. I, like... I low key depends on the person. Like if it's a female, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to woo my way around. But if it's a male, it might be done up for me, bro. If it's a, what if he's uh, putting you into sex trafficking? That's what I'm saying, bro. You will never fucking know, bro. Like he put you in a barrel, bro. Like motherfucker just drug me up, OD, bro. That's crazy. That's a, it's a scary world we live in, bro. Because there's really crazy people like that. Nah, I mean it's more scary for girls in my opinion, bro. Yeah. Yo, you know how many girls I know that's like they be worried about motherfuckers trying to. Like, touch them, rape them, and shit like that, bro. Nah, Jay's afraid of, like, getting, like, kidnapped and stuff. Man, yeah, bro, I, I understand that, yeah, bro. I understand. People be on some, on some weird shit, bro. Like, am I the only one that, like, when you see a, a white van, you just be thinking, like, like, the first thing is, like, yo, what if there's, like, a person in there kidnapping? I never the know. Ba- the bang bus. The b- <laughs> <laughs> yo, the bang bus, yo, nah, bro. Yeah, my man Ivy said he saw the, he saw the, the fake taxi. You know what that is? Yes, you're lying. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you if I saw that shit. I'm like this. <laughs> I'm like this. No. Pick up, bro. No, bro. That's funny, bro. But nah, back on the missing people thing, bro. You know, I, I read a story about a guy. His name was uh, Jim Carter, right? So he's a he's a skier. Like, he does, like, um, skiing in the... It was in Mount Helen in uh, Oregon. So it was him and a group of 20 people, right? And they're going skiing down the mountain. And it was like, yo, we all going down together. He was like, nah, wait, I'm going to go down first so we can, he can take a video of it. Oh, so, a video of them coming down? Yeah, so he went down, right? And they they all went down after because he didn't say nothing. And they couldn't find him. And it was like, what the hell happened to him? And like they, they went all the way down the mountain. Like he, he was supposed to stop at a certain point so he can just see him go down. But like they didn't see him. So it was like they went all the way down. And they couldn't find him. So they called like help um, search and rescue. And they searched for like 10 days and they couldn't find him. But they found tracks of him going down the slope like really really fast like he was jump- like you know how there's like gorges like, oh like he was like like he was like like it looked like he was getting chased by something and like he was going down the gorge jumping over the little gorges and like they couldn't like they just seen the tracks but they didn't see nothing chasing after him but it just seemed like he was like because like you know like um casual skiers they're not doing nothing that fast yeah they're not jumping over shit gorges severe going on yeah they was like what's chasing getting, chasing after chased him? by a beer they said they said it was getting he was getting chased by like a cause in that mountain range there's like a there's like a folklore that's like called it's called um it's like Ape Gorge. There's oh, like I was a, talking about the Yeti. Yeah, they say he's getting <laughs> chased by a Yeti, bro. Oh hell no, bro. They say he was getting chased by a Bigfoot. Bro, I had a whole phase where I thought the Bigfoot was real, bro. I still believe in Bigfoot. I'm not gonna think lie. He real? I think so. I oh. told Jay this all the time, you bro. You remember that show was like Finding Bigfoot? Finding yes, Bigfoot, bro. bro. I that's believed amazing. in that, bro. But like But sometimes I, Cause it be a lot of people try to make it like they make it fake. So like I can never believe like what's true or not. That's what I'm saying. People make it seem like it's so like I I, like I really believe it's real. Like I feel like there was a time where there was fucking tall ass apes. Yeah, hairy as hell and shit like that. I'm just saying like in the woods, in the rugged woods of the North America, there gotta be something weird. I mean, there's still regular like I don't know. I, I, I think so. Think about it, bro. There's regular humans, like civilians, in a in a in a damn in a damn rain, rainforest, bro. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like the little cannibal people. Yeah, bro. So I think, like, if it, if it keeps going on, right, like about a, a big seven foot ape, and it just keeps going on throughout time, I feel like there is one. No, nah, I don't think it's gonna go on for too long. I feel like that shit's gonna die out eventually. I don't know, bro. I seen something on Reddit. It was like a video of like a guy 
it was a it was a drone footage and like there you see the force and then you just see one tree just moving like somebody like breaking it bro I, it's like I, nah, what is that I, I think i've seen that shit nah i don't know bro like they say there's like cgi or like it's just a normal tree or it's nah. bigfoot nah i'm pretty sure that shit might be cgi i don't know it looked crazy i don't know dude. they said bigfoot that man's like he's strong as hell bro Think of it like a chupacabra, basically, bro. I thought a chupacabra. Nah, not chupacabra. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm about to say chupacabra is like a little, like a little dog looking thing. Yo, you think that shit's real? I don't know. Nah. I feel like there's a there's a certain animal that they could mistake it for a chupacabra, but I don't think it is a, really a thing. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of weird animals that we haven't figured out yet in this world that mystical, mythical, mythical ass, creatures, fake creatures bro. and shit, bro. Like think about the ocean, bro. It's over, bro. Like it's we only over. discovered. 15% of the ocean. Nah, I think only 5%. Or actually. something like that, yeah. Something like I think that. I think the world's covered about like 70. 75% of water. And I think we only discovered like... Five. 75% is still missing. Exactly. So think about it. But like, you know how hard it is to, to like really roam oh. each part of the damn ocean? You know how exactly. fast that shit is, bro? How dark? Exactly. So there could be something big. Imagine there's a big ass thing living down there, bro. No, I'm a stamp. There definitely is, bro. Like at least one thing. I don't think there's multiple creatures, but at least one big thing down Not, there. I don't, I don't know what it is. No megalodon. I just had to put that out there. No megalodon. I, I think don't know. That shit's deep up. Mermaids. I had a whole phase, but I believe mermaids, mermaids were. You know, real, Haitian people believe in mermaids. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I. I <laughs> Yo. Nah, them shits is deep up, bro. I they said God. mermaids are evil. No, nah, I heard that. Heard it. I heard they like um, it was like some old ass shit where like it's like a cave and you hear like singing. It's yeah. like a mermaid. They mm-hmm. lead, lead you to your death. Yeah, yeah. I think like, I, I think that's where they get some shit like that from. Yeah, it's like they lead uh, sailors to their death or something by their singing. Or they see him on a rock. They're like, oh, it's a beautiful girl. Go there and kill him. I don't know. Those, eat those mermaids beat up, but definitely, it's like there's so many weird shit. Like there's a fucking fish that's like it's like a long ass eel, bro. Mm-hmm. I think it's called like a oral fish. You heard of that? Uh, I never heard of it, but I probably seen a picture of it. It's a shiny ass fish, bro. It's long as fuck, though. That's and it's in the ocean. Yeah, like like it's a new species. You know, we uh, find new species every day, right? Then I but then I just heard some shit. They said about five hundred species could be extinct by tw- by twenty forty. Five hundred? I mean, it depends what species. That could be. They could be talking about bugs. I feel like they talk. Ah, oh, who cares about bugs, bro? I know. Yeah, like, who cares about them shit? They all should die, bro. Mosquitoes is a nuisance nah, to the flies. world. flies. Oh, my mother, I hate them, bro. I'd rather... Gnats. All of them just die, I bro. think I go from... I think I'll do from fly, gnats, and mosquitoes. I'll do it in that order, bro. Fly, gnats, and mosquitoes. I dude. hate mosquitoes, bro. Like, there's no <laughs> use for a mosquito. Like, what is the point of a mosquito? All they do is bite you. It's, it's, it's a fly, they just a annoy fly, you. Flying virus, bro. Like, what is the point of a mosquito, bro? Like, I hate, like, I hate, oh my God. Like, if I can extinct one thing with a stab my finger, it's a mosquito. Bro, I literally got bit in my forehead like yesterday, bro. I shit was fucking me, bro. <laughs> I see, like, look, look. Yeah, I see a little. Bro, shit was fucking me, bro. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I got another question. Do you think people are creating, like, different species of animals? Yeah. You think I saw so? that. I saw some shit. It was like a pig. A pig human, like a human fire pig. Bro. Yeah, he got like a little human face, right? That shit looked disgusting. He looked bro. ugly as hell. And then I think there was another one where, like, I think they were mixing up a spider with a goat. Did they get yeah. it? Did they do it? Um, I think they did. They like make, they like, they was like doing chemicals and shit. They're, like the spider, like the, the, the milk from the goat could turn into like spider web. So wait, was it a goat with hella legs? Nah, it was a regular goat, but I think it kind of had like some spider, some weird shit, bro. Nah. That shit's weird, bro. Hell no. A, a spider goat. I seen a thing on TikTok. I don't think it's real. They said they, they made a real life Pikachu. Yo, that's so hard, it bro. It does, bro. What kind of animal would that be? So it was like the color of a duck, and then they had electricity from an eel, and then it was like a, a squirrel. Nah, I think he got to be like some type of, like, some type of small ass dog. Yeah, I, I was thinking like either a dog or like a koala with like, you know, koala bears. He kind of look like a koala bear. Hell no. He look like no damn koala bear, bro. Are you sure? Like no, a koala bear with the squirrel and the eel? No shit sit up like, that, like, a, like a baby. <laughs> the Pikachu got like... like a, he, you know, he got like a little dog type of stance. I don't know, bro. I don't know. My, I, man, my man Pikachu, bro. Like, you think people are really making like... Like real life... Like, there's like... Not like real yeah, scientists, bro. like nerds just making real life animals. Like real life uh, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon motherfuckers making homunculuses, bro. Wait, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, monkey listens, bro. What was People that again, do, bro? Basically, the process goes: you get an egg and you inject your semen in it, 
and you wait like over, I think you gotta wait a month or two type of shit and see what's inside of it. Have you ever done that before? <laughs> Hell no, I ain't do that shit. Yo, <laughs> y'all motherfuckers kept thinking I was gonna do it, bro. Yes, because cur- you kept saying you was going to. <laughs> yeah, I had the whole high school learning about that shit, bro. Exactly. Homoc- wasn't, he, wasn't y'all playing that Mr. Nap class? Yeah. Homoculus. Remember, what was the one that Quake used to say all the time? What's that thing? That's that. Oh, what's, the, oh, what's that word called? It, they wrote it on the board and Ish took a picture of it. Catman dude. Catman dude. <laughs> there you go. What was that? I think it's some shit Bash he, he like I don't know, but I think Bash brought that up, bro. He's talking about some cat man dude. That shit was random, bro. That was the most random. Yeah, niggas kept talking about that. I'm like, alright, bro. Yo. Bro. But nah, back with the um making creatures thing. I read another story. I I read I go on Reddit a lot. Oh, what's up with these people making these animals, bro? They I don't got, know. Making bro. hybrids. It's weird. Like there's a whole page on TikTok that making new animals. You know that you know that that, that movie Deep, Deep Blue? Deep Blue. Yeah, I heard of it. Yo, you know, they, in that movie, they made a hybrid, a mako shark with a great white. Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine that roaming the ocean, bro. It's over, bro. Like, just imagine that. Like, bro. just imagine, what if Bigfoot was, like, made in a lab, and he just he just got I free? That motherfucker could swim. Nah, it's over. <laughs> That's deep. Like, they said, there was a there was a um thing, right? So, there was a science experiment in the woods, and, like, they made a creature, and, like, it got out, and it killed all the scientists, and, like, they still haven't found it. Like, it just left everything mangled, bro. Bro, that shit sound like some comic book. I don't... Like, that's... That's what... I be reading a lot sound, of conspiracies, that bro. That shit sound like some comic book-ass stuff right there, like, bro. Just imagine, bro. Yo, do you think UFOs are real and all that? Like all that, aliens? All that alien stuff? Oh, no. Aliens are definitely real. Bro, let me tell you something. What was it? It was definitely... This was definitely this year. I'm in my backyard. I'm looking in the sky. You know me. I'll be back there fried. I'll be, starga- <laughs> I'll be stargazing. Bro, I kid you not. I saw four stars. Swear to God, they're moving apart from each other, bro. Really? Like, they're moving. Like, Are you, you sure you wasn't high? Bro, nah, I was fried. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not dumb. You know how a plane moves? Yeah. Bro, the plane moves in, like, a certain type of speed. I can tell this shit's moving like this. Like, like mad fast? It's moving fast, but, like, it's slow. Like, I can see it moving, though, but I can tell that shit's moving fast really? as fuck in the air, bro. Yo. Bro, four of them, bro. Like, one's going this way, the other one's going this it's way. It's like it's spreading out? Yeah, that shit was wild, See, bro. I be thinking I see a lot of that stuff, too. Oh, you think you, you think that shit with aliens where you think that abducting shit is real? Oh, yeah. Bro, that shit's crazy. Because, like, so. people really, they say they come back, they, like, they're just watching TV. And then one minute they're gone, and then they come back, they're still watching TV. And like seven years pass by, bro. I know. Yo, that's crazy. Maybe one moment you're just doing your casual deeds. And then you come back, it's like seven years later, you're like, what the hell just happened? Why the fuck does Tony look like? He got a whole beard now, bro. <laughs> I'm sort of flipping Tony out. got like another kid or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like that's crazy. Like imagine, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. The whole thing about you going missing, that shit's probably one of the most scariest things. Like you ever heard, of, you ever watched that show Manifest on uh, Netflix? Oh, no, nah, I think I heard of it, though. About the plane going in, like, it's like, it's like a plane going to Jamaica, and it actually happened. Wait, and that shit, like, disappeared in the air? It didn't like- disappear, but, like, the people on the plane thought it was normal time, but, like, people outside the plane thought they were missing. Like, they went missing for five like years. Just imagine that was you, bro. You on a plane for two hours, you come back, you're like, yo, what happened to you? We, we haven't seen you for five years. <laughs> like, so much stuff could have happened in five years, bro. Bro, if five years of my life passed and I wasn't there for it. Like, there, like a girl on the plane, like, her father passed away during that time. So she never got to say goodbye to her father. That's like that's the sad. that's so ass. That's like the fucking that's like Endgame too, bro. Endgame I think I think it was five years. The Avengers shit. Endgame, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was five years passed by. The motherfuckers came back. Shit was like like nothing happened, bro. They don't know what's happening. I don't know how I could live with myself, bro. That's hard, bro. Because like imagine you come back and somebody you, you fucked the OD passed away. Exactly. You're like bro. what, bro? Like what if I could have saved you if I was here, bro? Exactly. Like you at least could have just been with you. Like a like that's that's scary, bro. But like. A lot of these things happen nowadays that sounds weird, but like, and people don't believe it because they think we're crazy, but like, I feel bad for the people that if it really did happen and they're telling them and they're not believing them, like, just imagine, like, you, it feels like you're trapped in a box and nobody's just listening to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, so like, how would you feel like if you came back and like, no one, no one was here type shit? Oh, like if I get abducted and like, I'm you come, bo- ba- you come back and the house is abandoned. Like, am I the only person on earth or just my my family? Oh, your family dipped out, but like your surroundings all changed up now too. So like I come back to my house. Yeah, your neighbor not there no more now either, bro. Uh I would have to ask mad questions. Like, I'm asking everybody around, like, what happened to these people? Like if they say they died, I've been so sad. 
That's a hard life, bro. Like, oh. do you, like that really happened to people. Like, they come back like seven years later after they think they got. Yeah, abducted. I'm telling you, people that got abducted that said that they they been abducted and they came back and shit was just missing when they came back. Wow, why do you think people get abducted? Do you think? All right, what if the aliens made a pact with like the humans, like the higher up humans, like you know, like the Illuminati, to, to make tests on us? Bro, you you ever watched the show The Promise Neverland? No, it's an anime. Basically, it's a farm with kids. Yeah. And they feed those kids to aliens. Farm of kids? Farm of kids. And they feed them kids to aliens. Really? Yeah, and they, they go by grade and age and how well developed your brain is. Really? Yeah, so like they pass tests. That means they're smart. So that means their brain is good. So, so they put them in a higher position. And like they eat them? And they eat them. Oh my gosh. That that's... shit is so fire though, bro. You gotta watch that. What the hell? The is... Prom- the prom is never late. That shit is that shit is top tier. Is bro. it on Netflix? Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, okay. I'm start. I'm trying to start get, get into anime. I'm not gonna lie. I started watching oh, One Piece. Shit, bro. One Piece. I'm not getting into that. It's too many episodes. But I get... well, it look like it's like three thousand episodes, bro. It's over, bro. But like, I'm watching on Netflix, so they only got four seasons. So I'm just going to that. The only the only anime I really watched was Dragon Ball Z Kai. That was it. That was on TV. That was literally it. You never watched Super, bro. No, nope. I, I wouldn't even watch Super. It's not even all that, bro. Nope, bro. Yeah, they're coming up with a movie from up. They coming up with a movie though. You know, did you watch Venom? Nah, not yet. Yo! I heard it was fire. I didn't even see it though, bro. But I kind of spoiled the last part for me. I heard there's a spoiler that says he's gonna be merged in with Spider Man. He is. But they said he's part of like the sig- the Sinister Six, but I don't think he is. I forgot what that shit is. It's like the six. It's like Doc Ock. Oh uh, yeah. But I don't think it's Venom. They said it's like Rhino. Nah, yeah, the Sinister. I think it's like Doc Ock, Electro, uh, the Rhino. It's like a bunch of his main, main yeah, villains. main villain guys. Uh, Sandman. Nah, but yeah, but... Uh, I heard that movie, the Spider-Man No Way Home is gonna be fire. That's probably gonna be the best movie of the year, bro. Oh, gosh, no, bro. That's what they, that's what they were talking about. Bro, I don't know. I'll be ba- watching on TikTok. Ba- the Batman movie's coming out this year. Is it really? Yeah, my man Robert, I think his name Robert Patterson. Mm. From Twilight. Really? He's playing Batman? Yeah, bro. What the hell? Wait, is, that's not the main guy from Twilight, is it? Yeah, Edward. It is? Yeah. That's gonna be weird. I'm not gonna lie. Him no, as Batman. You gotta see the trailer. That shit looks fire, bro. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch he it. He was tweaking in the trailer, bro. Oh, gosh. What the one coming up? I'm only, I'm only looking forward to that. Well, Venom, Spider Man. I'm trying to watch that Batman and fucking Halloween. Oh, yeah. Me and Jay about to watch Halloween, bro. Yo, did you watch that? Um, There's a movie called Don't Breathe, too. You watch Don't Breathe, bro? I watched the first one. Yo, watch the second one, bro. The second, wait, it came out? Mm-hmm. Me and, that was the best movie me and Jay watched. Like, the, this fr- the first one was sick, bro. The second one's even worse, bro. That's crazy. It's crazy. Bro. All right, don't spoil. I'm not. Like, I'm not. I'm not. Is he like? Is it sick on the on the man on the old man side nah, or on the other people's the side? The other people's side. Because that old man was tweaking the first one. Bro. I know he was wowing, but nah, it's he's he's a good guy. This one, the other people was sick. Because the girl, is, I think, was his daughter, his granddaughter, some shit like that. In the what the movie? one in the new one? Yeah, it's his daughter. You'll see when you watch it, bro. Cause, uh, cause, cause he got the other girl pregnant, but she died. Is that, is that what you saying that nah, shit? Nah, you'll you'll see, bro. I'm not gonna. I be spoiling movie, movies on this podcast. I'm not gonna spoil this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gonna have to find out for yourself, my brother. But nah, speaking of movies, bro, I got a question. Imagine, all right, you know, you watch the Hunger Games, right? Imagine our war, our whole society was like that. I'm would you, I'm would you survive, I'm bro? Folding. Are you? I'm, you? I'm <laughs> Like imagine they picked you. Nah, I know because I know how my how my life is. Some bullshit gonna happen, bro. <laughs> the most randomest bullshit. I'm gonna get caught with like an arrow, bro. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna just bleed eternally. Like I'm gonna escape. <laughs> I'm gonna just bleed eternally. I'm gonna be on this on the on the on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so how so how how are you gonna go about the games, bro? Alright, so the, all right, at the beginning of the game, the motherfuckers like, you know, all circled around this shit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You got grabbed back. I'm definitely. I'm gonna have to risk my life. And, like, are you gonna? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna have to run in there. there. I, don't yeah. think I'm, I think I'm gonna be the one that run, the ones that run away. Bro, I'm not doing it because then you're really, then you're really. It's either you're gonna die out there with no weapon, or you have to go and get a weapon to try to survive. What I'm gonna do is I'm a, I'm a hide and like wait out until like they're all know. gone, and then go sneak in <laughs> and get a weapon. I mean, depending on how the startup is, I'm gonna definitely try. It to depends make where I'm at. Remember I mean, the second movie, when like they had like the different like um, like the the arena was like a clock, so like in different. Uh, wedges of the clock was like different, like, like oh, yeah, troubles. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know you're talking like about different yeah. um, uh, what's it called? Environments and like one one edge will be like a wave, a big tsunami, and the other Yo. one will be like sting of bees. Dude, that shit was crazy, bro. Like imagine, imagine that was us, bro. I wouldn't be, I would die, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You would hear I, that that cannon shout out from me, bro, and I'm, see my picture on the wall. I'll be dead as hell. I think I might go crazy. I'm gonna try to 
make friends, but I'm gonna do niggas dirty at the end. <laughs> I'm definitely doing people dirty, bro. Bro, freaking. I'm definitely getting. What's your main weapon of choice? I'm. I think I'm getting an axe. I'm not even honestly. If I is if there a machete, I definitely. I gotta grab like four machetes so I could try to throw them. Two machetes to throw and then two just to cat keep bro. You feel me? Bro, like I'm just heavy though. Hell no! I'll give a damn, bro. Bro, like honestly, I feel like the way I'm gonna die, I'm gonna be hiding, and then the the creators is gonna see me hiding and be like he's doing. It's too easy for him. Let me go throw a little bit of. Let me throw some attack dogs at him. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> the first one, bro. Dude, they fucked them up, bro. That's how I'm gonna die. They'd be like, uh, attack dogs. Yo. And then they're just gonna eat me while I'm hiding underneath a bush. I don't know. I'm not going out like that, though, bro. That's why you always gotta try to stay in a smart area, bro. Like in a tree. Bro, they're gonna not, lightning not, strike you. I'm not always gonna try to stay on the ground, bro. It's old for that, bro. I'm not even good at climbing trees, but I'm gonna definitely try. I'm gonna learn to climb climbing trees. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. That that movie, like that junk is crazy, bro. I'm doing like it's easy to kill people though. You think it's is what? It's easy to kill people. How's it easy to kill people? It would be easy to kill people, bro. You sound like a sicko. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just saying, if you give me all these weapons, I'm not gonna fold, bro. You're not gonna fold. I'm not gonna fold. So if you have these weapons, so if you so say you're the first guy to the weapons, you grab the arrow. I'm doing people greasy. Okay, okay, I'm doing them dirty, bro. <laughs> I'm doing a little 360 real quick. I was dipping out, bro. It's over, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm running away, bro. Now, if I'm really the first one there, I'm gonna be on some whole shit. I'm gonna try to like, if I see a, a fucking machete, the first I'm like swinging around that shit, bro. Make mm. sure no one puts their hand in that shit, bro. <laughs> bro, it's done up for me, bro. It is like it's really it's case, bro. You're just ass, bro. I don't, like you know, oh, I'm that guy that does like it's just, something bad's gonna happen bro, to me, you're bro. You're just ass. I'm not folding, bro. <laughs> like I'm using everything in my arsenal to kill someone, bro. Bro, That's hell no. I mean, it depends. I feel like the only way someone will kill me is from a distance, like like long range type shit. Cause there ain't no guns, right? Nah, no guns. Yeah, it's just an arrow. I might get caught. Cause guns that. cheesy, bro. Imagine this gun. It's one if one person get a gun, it's over. Imagine it to be on some Call of Duty shit. Exactly. But you got no loadout. No loadout. <laughs> <laughs> like some Warzone, you gotta find your loadout. Imagine Warzone was real. That shit technically is low key kind of real. Oh, imagine they have they make like a, a like a VR game, like a full body. Like you ever watch that movie? Um, what's that movie where it was like a video game where you go in? Ready Player One. Yeah, no, not yeah, Ready Player One. Imagine that they they make that in the Yo, future. That shit would be so tough. If you're bro. 50 years old and they make that, would you buy it? Yes. <laughs> I tell you, I'm fin- I'm finna I'm finna be a kid even when I'm old, bro. That's respect. I'm gonna try to, bro. I feel like I would too. I not can't... like do like crazy kid activities where it hurts my body. Old. Well, I can't really speak for how I'm going to be when I'm older, bro. But I hope I don't be on no cranky-ass grown man. Grown man, she like, yo, bro, some little kid shit. I ain't trying to do that. I ain't going to try to be lame. Yeah. I don't think we are. I think we're going to be funny. I I feel like when we're older, we're all going to, like... Like, we're going to be working, but on the weekends, we're going to meet each other at the bar and do some weird shit. Uh, You going to hit niggas at the bar, though? Look at you, bro. (laughs) Just to see y'all for a week. I'll probably have this podcast, though, get a cup of water. (laughs) Yo, bro. Get the hell out of here, bro. (laughs) Oh man, that'd be funny though. It's random. So Yo, why don't you get a uh, a, a nice, dog? Nice size dog here. Cause my mom don't like dogs, bro. Bro, get like a dog, like a boomer size, bro. Nah, bro. hell no. My mom don't like dogs. Bro. Uh, what about the coda? What no, about a cat? No animals, bro. I no can't have no animals. At all? Nope. Why don't she like uh, animals? I don't know. I think she had bad experiences when she was a kid. Like what? I don't know what happened. You gotta get, you gotta break that shell, bro. I I tried, bro. Like ever since I was a kid, bro, I always wanted to. Like there was a time I went to, freaking um, I went to a pet store, and they let me play with the dog, and like I thought I was taking a home. Motherfuckers blue balled you. Yes, and I <laughs> cried that whole day. Motherfuckers blue balled you. I was like, I was having fun with them, and then it's like, okay, come on, dad, we're leaving. It's like, are we taking him home? And she was like, no. You like nah, bro. I was like, why? Like they made me, bro, have fun with. That's kind of messed up. I was so sad. Bruh, I had a... My cousin had, like, left... This is when I was living in Irvington. My cousin had a dog. She kind of just left it there. So, he was there for, like, a couple months. I would low-key torture that dog. You would torture that dog? As bad as it sounds, bro. Why? All I know is I throw low-key throw that nigga down the stairs. What? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> she was max, bro. I don't know what's wrong with me doing that shit, bro. Wait, why'd you throw him down the stairs? I was weird, bro. I was in a whole nother universe, did bro. You, did you say you squeezed a little hamster? Bro, yeah, I had hamsters. I was squeeze them and see that. It was funny to me to see the eyes pop out. That shit is sickening, bro. Yo, you're nuts. Sickening, bro. <laughs> Yo, what? Shit is sickening, bro. <laughs> I stepped on one of my hamsters. I know you told me, bro. So, yo, you know, you know, Jay used to have a, a, a duck, a pet duck. A duck? Yes. Like a little duck used to walk around her house. How she, how she obtained this duck? I don't know. Like they go to like an exotic farm 
Any, Yo, like I want a dog, bro. Would, would you ever have a, a pet geese? That's scary. Imagine a imagine a geese walking around my room, bro. Like he just bro, right there. Like, imagine he he on like some super friendly shit, bro. That's fine, but like, what am I gonna do? Pet it? Like, like that's yeah, mad bro. weird. Stroke his neck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, you wanna know how the, the duck died? He committed suicide. Yo, what <laughs> like, the fuck? Like, I I think I think he was trying to get out, and like she said, she said her his neck got stuck, and he like like snap, like uh, some something like that. Yo. Yeah, free free that duck, bro. Low key, that dog that I had, I think he committed suicide. Did he really? Bro, all I know is I came home one time. I went upstairs. He was on my on my deck with blood around his neck. I have no I have no explanation what happened. That's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if someone. I don't know. I I, I don't know, bro. What if I, for a second killed? I was like, yo, what if he like low key tried to hung, hang himself, but he just strangled <laughs> strangled himself by accident, bro? What? I don't know, bro. Yo. I came up just blood around his neck, bro. That's kind of creepy. Bawling. And we buried him in my backyard, bro. In your backyard now or in Irvington? Irvington. Okay, okay, good. You got a ghost dog. Yo, you know um, there's an exotic uh pet place in New Jersey? They sell skunks. Skunks? Yes. You could buy a skunk? You could buy a skunk. They you can buy look, a skunk. They actually look adorable, I'm not going to lie. Yo, I don't want that shit, But bro. they took the thing out so they can't spray. What do you mean they took the thing out? Like they t- I forgot what it's called, like, uh, sprayed. Like, it's called sprayed. Like, they took the little juices out. Wait, that's like some surgery they do. Yeah, they do surgery. Like you could so do that shit to yeah. skunks. So you, you can't spray no more. So that's it's just like a normal animal. Fuck! Imagine someone taking it's like taking your bladder out. Low key, exactly. Right? No, what the <laughs> fuck? You can't pee no more. No, you can't. You can pee, but you can't spray nobody. They sell exotic fishes. Uh, I think so. They they sell like this little lemur looking thing. A lemur? Yeah, it looks a like a monkey. Lemur. You're talking about? It's like I don't know if it's a monkey or like a type of rodent, but it looks like a little lemur. I forgot what it's called. Look it up. It's called. It's, it's somewhere in Lodi. Like, just look up exotic pet places on like Instagram. It'll probably pop Bruh, up. I want me a, a an exotic fish tank in my current house. You want exotic? Like, what kind of fish? Like, I want sharks and I want sharks and stingrays. Really? Why that specifically? Because they're both. Because sharks they're in the same family. Are they really? Yeah. Because if you touch a sting, you ever touch a stingray? Yeah. Like they, at the they zoo? feel the same way as a shark, bro. Oh yeah, they. Uh, I, I know what you mean. Okay. They're in the same family. But I mean, bro. don't don't all the whales feel like sharks? Uh, they probably do, but like, it's not a shark though. A no. stingray is, bro. Bro, there's a video of a fucking st- a shark eating a stingray in the fucking in the aquarium, bro. Really? Like, it, like he you know he was one of the animals there. Motherfuckers start eating him there. That shit's max. That's fucked up, bro. Oh. So what kind of sharks are you gonna get? Like Nerf shark, like the little baby sharks? I want like the little sand sharks. Little, it's like a pretty it's like. Like a they sand. go around the the bottom. Yeah, but like they kind of big. Like he's like a sand. He kind of look like a little tiger, little sand shark, bro. Mm, okay, pretty okay. as fuck, bro. Oh, I don't want bad. starfish in my shit. <laughs> just like he's I just want exotic ass the... tank, bro. That's a lot of bread, though. OD bread, bro. Like, you ever watch that show Tanked? Yeah, that's what I saw. That's, that's exactly where I got the idea from. Bro. Really? That's tough. I'm not gonna lie. That's tough. That's tough. Yo, but... bro, you believe in ghosts? Oh yeah, of course I do. Do you think you have encounter you have encounters with ghosts? Oh yeah. You never watch? Did you, did you watch the episode with me and Fritz? I when did. I was talking about the ghost, I did. There's bro. a ghost. There might be a ghost in this house. I think I have something in my house, like in my room, bro. What? Bro, it happened last year. The freakiest shit that happens in my life, bro. What? Bro, I'm sitting down playing in front of my TV on, on my chair, bro. I'm playing, bro. And then my closet door is like, you know you open your shit? Yeah, it's like, like, it's like oh, folding. Yeah, my shit's like folded, bro. I'm playing. I'm hearing scratches in my closet, bro. I swear to God, I'm hearing this shit repeatedly. And it's low-key kind of moving. I'm like... And then I look at the corner boomer. They're just staring at the closet, growling. Not nah. moving. Bro, I swear to God, it was going off almost two hours, bro. Really? I'm just standing there frozen, bro. I was not moving. It was over, bro. And then what? it just went away. Yeah, like... I swear to God, bro. That's kind of scary, happened though. last year. Last year? Last year. Like, has, it hap- has anything happened recently? Uh, I think. I don't really remember. I know that specific time. That shit gets me... That shit gets me... Scared. That like, got me a little scared, <laughs> bro, bro. I'm telling you, I'm sitting down. And you know, my, my, that's just close to fall. I'm like this. And she's just... I'm like, yo, is there like... How, wait, what time is it? Is it's it like, like late at night? It's like, it's like 11 at night. Oh, nah, bro. Yeah. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Everybody was in the room already, so... Oh, I was by myself type nah, shit. Oh, like, bro. Bro, imagine that happened when me and Ish was like sleeping over, bro. Bro, that shit only wants to fuck me when I'm by myself, bro. Nah. Like, I, my mom says we have like a little troll in the house. A troll, like a little troll, like he just he just moves things around the house. I think I I, f- I feel like it's a girl or some shit in my house, bro. A girl? Why? Bro, cause like even I had two encounters before that too. I'm laying, I'm sitting down in my bed, 
my fucking shirt just gets pulled up. Swear to God, bro, like it gets pulled, it, like it gets pulled up, bro. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, like, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Why? And then I'm laying down, my blanket gets, I feel that shit getting tugged. Really? I'm like, it wasn't Boomer or nothing like that? I ain't had Boomer yet, bro. It wasn't Dakota. I don't think. I don't think I had it really yet, bro. Really? This is like when I moved. Like I first, first moved? Freshly in the box, bro. Oh, that's scary. Yo, you... Uh, I forgot to tell Fritz this ghost story that my uncle had. Like, he was in... um, pa- Like, he's... I think he went to Panama or something like that. He went to some place. And he was driving down a dirt road. And a late, a girl is in the middle of the road. And she's, like, walking. He's, like, honking the horn. Like, can you move? And then she moves over to the side. And then he's, like, do you, do you need some help? And then she turns like this... No face. White I'm running dress. Her over. He said, Gee. I'm running that bitch over, bro. Yo. That did um I never told you the thing like after your birthday. Did you watch um Fritz's um video about what me and him saw after your birthday uh thing when we went to Outback? We, I, I thought it was a ghost. He thinks it's a prostitute. I don't know. You're talking about after my birthday. Yeah, remember when we went to Outback? This year. Yes. We went, Yo. When we went to Outback. So we was so I'll tell the story again. So we went after your birthday we went to Outback. It was me and Fritz and we was going, you know where um that bridge is on 22, and you can, like, go off the exit, going by um, where uh, Chestnut is. Where, yeah. Yeah, so you go, and there's, like, a like a dark street, a really dark street down uh-huh. there. So we was... Oh, you're talking about when you're going down, and you make that right? Yeah, yeah, you make the right, and then you make a left, and you go all the way... And, like, if you make a left, there's, like, a really dark street. Like, so there's a dark street, right? So, like, there's a girl walking down the street. Like, she... Like, it looks like she got, like, a weird-looking dress, like, from the 50s. Look, she got no shoes on. She's just walking normally. And I'm like, Fritz, you see her? He was like, he's like, yeah. I was like, what you want me to do? I was like, yo, say something. He's like, yo. She turned around and starts walking towards us. It's a, it's 12:30 at night, bro. I just dipped. I swear to God, bro. No, nah, I ain't gonna hold you. I would I would I want that smoke right there. I want to see. I want to see what can happen, like, bro. Like, like I can understand. Like he thought it was a problem. about your first start recording. <laughs> Skill with you, cut, <laughs> bro. Like I was mad scared, bro. Like, cause like, all right, if somebody calls your name at. 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night, you're not going to turn around and walk to the car. And she was walking like, she was like, she went like this and just started like, like walking like she fast. Give us some more fucking money, nigga. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you're to rob your ass. Remember when we went rando nodding? Bro, the most pointless shit, bro. That shit blew me. We got to do it again, bro. bro we got to do it again. Real, bro. We got to do it some, again, bro. I want to see some, bro, you really had me going two weeks strong watching straight rando nodding videos, bro. Well, we got to try again, bro. We got to do it in the woods. <laughs> I want to see some crazy shit. Wait, the woods we, behind your house. I mean, we went back there, but nothing happened. No, we gotta, we gotta. It's going to tell us some random place to go to. I know, I know, bro. What, yeah, low key. What? I think I got like some shit in those woods in the back of my house. What? Like something? You know, we got, I think it's like some little bunker shit down there, bro. Are we gonna go investigate? Yeah, fuck no. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what you think I am, bro? Bro, we the we the adventure crew. Me, you, and Ish, bro. Remember, Ish almost fell off that the freaking cliff. Yo, was you there when motherfuckers found that dog in the woods, bro? Yes, bro. And he was like running around. We was trying to chase after him. And then Ish fell into some mud. He started smelling. He was smelling like doo-doo. Remember, he stepped in the thing and it was like mad, like muddy. And it smelled like... Uh, Wait, you talking about this shit next to Curryville, right? Yeah. Yo, and he was running. We was trying to find... That shit was... It was raining that day. That's yes. Fine. We was crazy, bro. We used to go into the woods all the time. It was a motherfucking time. fat ass... Bro, I swear to God. It was like a, it was like a gray coyote in there, bro. It looked like... Nah, you know what I think it was? I think... Cause I seen a picture of somebody lost a dog. I think that was the dog. No, we found the dog. Yeah, and then we found a coyote in there, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was another thing in there. Cause it was a fucking. Cause motherfucker saw a baby deer. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was gonna touch it. But I was like, yo, if that mother pop. That mother sees me, bro. It might be a case, bro. Bro. I saw some deers fighting the other day. That shit was pretty tough, bro. Fighting? I saw some deers fighting, bro. What the hell? That's weird. That's a weird sight to see, bro. Who you telling? It was getting creepy. <laughs> bro, that part right next to the house over there. Oh, over there? Yeah, that, that's Toast. That's the, that park is named Toasty, bro. Why? It's just Toasty, bro. When I say Toasty, you just know I'm talking about that park. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you got dumb, bro. But we used to go on hella adventures. Remember when you made me like this? Was it was it this summer when you guys made us go to that freaking watering hole? And we almost got arrested? It was this summer. Yeah. Cause first, it was because it, it was Mikey. He he told me to go. He gave me the, the, the address to go to that place. Hold on. Let me explain to them, yo. So basically, it's me, Jordan, and Ish, right? So Jordan, it was like, yo, let's go to this, um, it's like a, a waterfall. I'm like, all right, let's go. To jump off the rocks. To jump off the rocks. I'm like, all right, I'll go. This is like, it's like, you can't, it's like, um, uh, no trespassing allowed. This is a non-trespassing place. So we're, I'm, we're hiking through the woods and stuff. And the, the waterfall, it looks like a, a power plant. And I'm that like, 
That shit looks like, like, like some GTA place for a bro, second. I'm like, what is this place? So like we go in, we went, we walked down, and there's people in the water. So I'm like, ah, right, it's not that bad. But it says no swimming in the watering hole. So we're still we we me it's Jordan. We hop in the water. Like five minutes pass, and then I just see there's like a, there's like a couple, and then like like a bunch of like high school kids. And then I just see everybody. I just see. I think I see you and it's just turn around and y'all just look at hella scared. Got, as soon as I got in the water, swam. I look up. This motherfucker's like, "Oh my!" The cops I'm like, came, yo, bro. I'm like, hey, yo, no way this motherfucker about to vote." I was, so, yo, I was like, "Nah, bro, I'm not getting a ticket today." Cause we was gonna try to sneak back in, bro. No, I was trying to sneak out, not sneak back in. Cause there was only one way in and one way out. Nah, cause we tried to. We was trying to sneak back in. But we were trying to go back in, but then the route we took. That shit led us to a dead end. Yeah, that and then le- that shit led us to the motherfucking coyote. Bro. I know the freak, and then the, the the high school kids start following us. Like we know where we we're going. I was like, hell no! Like bro, I was not trying to get no ticket, bro. That coyote was following us. He was trying to hunt us down, bro. He, he was following us while we was following him, bro. <laughs> then, but then, we, but then we went to went to the beach after that. Yeah. What beach was that? I forgot. It was Seaside. Sandy, no, Sandy Hook. Yo, that beach was fire, bro. It was Loki disgusting. Loki stuff. No, what? That beach, I've never been to that beach, bro. I, didn't, I thought Sandy Hook was farther. Yo, yo, that's one of the best highlights, bro. Going to that beach, bro, that shit was so tough to me, bro. Like, I was so mad. I was, I thought we was gonna get arrested, it was cold bro. Shit, too. By the time we got there, too, it bro. was, it was. But nah, bro. This is a segment I like to call pick a side. So I'm gonna tell you these one things. I want. It's like a would you rather. So I'm gonna explain the uh, situation. You gotta pick which one you want to pick. All right. All right. So would you rather? Um. So say somebody captures you, right? It's two options. Would you rather get hit in the ankle with a scooter as hard as you they possibly can, yo, or yo. get four of your toenails ripped off? And my ankle's getting done up. You gonna hit your ankle? Hit my ankle. Not the toenails, bro. Bro, think about what you just said though. Your toenails getting ripped off. Like you know, you can't grow that bad, bro. But you can <laughs> grow. <laughs> your ankle gonna be good, bro. Bro, imagine how bad. Like they rocking you with that shit, like, bro. Like that type shit with yes, the scooter? Yes, in the leg. Oh my God, that just, like that hurts bro, me talking about put that. Put your toenails. <sighs> your toenails though, bro. That's OD, bro. You can't grow a nail back, bro. You need straight flesh there, bro. Like, you getting your ankle rocked, bro? My, my ankle getting fucked up. Just one ankle, right? <laughs> yeah, just one ankle. <laughs> <laughs> that one ankle gonna be done up, bro. This is my life like, fuck it, bro. <laughs> fuck that shit. Like, imagine that's like if somebody kidnaps you. Like, that, that's your... That's your torture? Yeah. Every hour, we're gonna hit your ankle with a, with yeah. a fat-ass scooter. Twice. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Every 30 minutes. Oh. <laughs> you, ever, you ever heard something, like, back on the tor- like with the torture stuff? You ever heard, like, weird torturing devices? You heard of the brazen bull? Yes, where they put you in a bull and they heat it up. Imagine butt ass naked. Yeah, that shit's sickening, bro. That like you're just sitting and just, you, just your flesh you know, is just burning. First, first you're in there, you're like, ooh, this metal's cold, bro. Ooh, this shit can heat up now, bro. And then you start. No, you getting torched now, bro. Oh, oh nah. There was a, there was another one. I think it's like it's like a, it's like a fucking like a pyramid, mm-hmm. and they're just they're lowering you down on your asshole on it, bro. And it's, it's just it's, splitting it's, you. It's, it's a sharp. Oh piece. yeah, yeah, and it just splits you in half or something that like that. Shit is, Oh, uh, and then, you know who was the worst for Loki um torture torturing Vikings? Why? Some shit, they, they got some shit called, like some shit like Black Angel. They fucking hold you up and they split your, your back open. It's like and they open your shit open like wings. Oh, yeah, and they just let it open. I think probably bugs, animals, oh. eat, eat whatever you got. You ever seen there. the one where they put like. They put like they tie you up and they put rats on your stomach and then they put the uh, a bowl on top and then they heat up the bowl and then the rats start digging into your yeah, guts. Yeah, sickening, bro. Oh my god, that shit bro. Is sick, bro. Like, and I seen another one where it's like they they put you in a wall and just cover you up and just leave you in like a little wall where you're just like standing up until wait, you die. Wait, what do you mean you, they cover you up in a wall? Like, say like they put you in like a gap of the wall and then they they uh they cement it up so you just locked you're in just there. Just stuck there like you're just stuck there like this. And my nigga Han Solo from, from yes, Star Wars. Yes, like you're stuck there. They said somebody did that and like he was screaming for two days straight and then suddenly the screaming just stopped. Yo. That's crazy. What's bro. the other it's not even a torture. It's more so the motherfucker leave you there for dead. They dig you dig you up a dig you up a hole and just put your head and your head just out. And just leave you there. <laughs> oh, like oh, what about remember that book we read in high school? I don't know. It was like a little short story where like some lady got stoned to death like that. It was, like, it was called the... It was like the lottery. I don't know about being in a book. I remember me watching the whole video and I sent yeah. it to motherfuckers on Instagram. No, no, no. It, was, it wasn't it was a book. It was like a little short story about... It's called the lottery. So like people go gather around in the, the center 
why is it called lottery? Because like, and they start picking names out the hat, and they're like, and people think it's for like fun, and like, so like the whole point of the story is like it's a lottery, so each family gets their name called, and like they put their names in a hat, and then whoever gets picked out the thing, they get stoned to death. And whoever's name get picked out, they're like, no, 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 please not me. But <laughs> like the family members, they're like in on it. So like if it's like their daughter, they're like, beat up. They, they're they're sad, but they still get they start throwing rocks at. Them. Like why is that even a sport? I don't know, bro. It's like they gotta keep the population down. <laughs> Yo, it's like the purge, bro. Crazy. Bro, I was watching the video. I think it was like I think it's like in Africa some shit. Motherfuckers are whipping each other for what? fun as a sport. Nah, you're lying. They both had shield, like paper, like paper <laughs> shield, just whipping each other. That shit was funny. I would never show it to you, bro. Nah, that send shit. it to me. I'm gonna put it in the video. I'm gonna put like a little video, like right here. I don't know if I'm gonna find it, bro. Nah, not right now. You just send it to me later. But uh, I got another. Would you rather, bro? Would you rather have so they put a toothpick in between your toenail and you kick the wall as hard as you can? A toothpick in your toenail, like in between your toenail, and like say, say there's your toenail, right? Oh, I, I, I know what you're getting with that. So yeah, it goes in. For that. That's some other <laughs> shit right there. You kick it as hard as you can. Or, Yo, bro. Oh, what is like, I, I found this on TikTok. I'm sorry. A toothpick. Yes. In, in your toe, toe and you kick it. You got to kick it in the wall. So as hard as you let can. Let it dig in your foot. Or jump in a pool full of lemon lemon juice and you have millions of cuts on your body and gashes. I'm jumping in that pool faithfully. That might be OD though. The pool? No. The pool. The pool. You I'll got, take and you, got hella, and you got hella cuts. I'm taking the burning. Imagine, bro. I, but that shit going in your toes, Max, bro. Exactly. You're be getting some wooden shit just jammed in or uh, in your bro. toe. Like, not even in. It's in between your toe and your toenail. So like, just pretend like it goes like this, right? So say it goes like this, and you kick it. I think that lemon bath gonna be. I think that lemon it's gonna bath, be lovely. It's gonna be, it's gonna be lovely, bro. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I don't think I'm doing that. That's too, that's, that sounds crazy painful, bro. Oh my god! I don't even you can get that out. I'm probably you you only get surgery to get that shit taken out your toe. Probably gotta take your toe your toe off or some shit like that. See, what's what you taking toenails off? Bro? I don't know, bro. I, I, I love TikTok is a scary place, bro. bro. I'll tell you, bro. I had a kid when I was young, bro. His yeah, like three of his to- fingers nails off, bro. Why? That shit was. I don't even know, bro. That shit was disgusting. Ew. That's why when you saying these toenails, shit, I'm like, bro. Uh. Bro, like, you, have you ever seen what's under this? I saw his, it's like lumpy meat, bro. Lumpy meat, bro. <laughs> lumpy meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. So, would you rather get thrown into a pit full of angry chickens, or get thrown to a pit with a hungry tiger, but you have a sword? I'm going in with the tiger. Hold up, how many chickens? A bunch, like uh, like thirty chickens. Hungry? No, they're angry chickens. So they're like piking at you and shit. Oh, that's over. I'm going. I'm doing the chickens. No, I'm not. I'm getting in the tiger. My nigga, how you compare tigers to chickens, bro? bro? I hate. I don't like bird. I don't like chickens, bro. Bro, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> like, like no. I'm violating every <laughs> single chicken. Bro. Like, just imagine. Like, you ever been in a chicken coop? See, look, I got more respect for a tiger than a chicken. I ain't trying. I got to, a sword though. I know, that, but see, I ain't trying. I'm gonna feel bad me killing a tiger like that. Like, damn, bro. I don't want you. Oh, you don't me. care about killing the chicken. I don't want you going. But chicken, you feel me? <laughs> I eat. I eat you daily, so like you gonna <laughs> die eventually. You feel me? <laughs> you said sla- I eat you. I'm slaughter, slaughter you in battle. You feel me? Like, um, you ever been in a chicken coop? And they just start flying around. So say I've been in one. They be on, bro. I'm I don't like chickens. It's, it's that, it bothers me. It's bro. over for chickens, bro. Oh, nah, it, it, chickens bother me. I'm bro. doing the chickens, bro. I'm jumping and I'm stabbing that tiger. Yo, wait, why can't you do the chickens? If you hate them so much, why don't you beat the fuck out of them? I'm low key kind of scared of chickens. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> How? Yo, you know a random shit. My father was in, he was in Newark. He said, "Yo, you want to see something on Facetime? Niggas with hella chickens." <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, bro, <laughs> in Newark. Yes. Why? Well, he said it was just like it was like ten chickens outside of somebody's house, bro. What? Random, bro. Yo, we talked about so much animal abuse in, on the show right now. I'm not gonna lie. This episode is full of animal abuse. The first shit bro, was said was a bird being a nut, bird being nutted on, bro. Like <laughs> I forgot about that, <laughs> bro. Nah. Oh my god, bro. Whoever did that shit though is officially a menace, bro. That's it's, sick. And it's they said let me take a picture of it too. The bird was just sitting there like this. My father like, <laughs> he's just like, please let me go. But do you have anything else you want to say? Anything you want to talk about before we end the show? Yo, bro. Fucking. This what? is the basketball season and shit this year. Mm-hmm. Are you you playing? We'll see, man. We got a lot of good uh, good freshmen coming in yeah, this year. They gonna let us? They gonna let you have games? Like we? Oh, fans? Stuff? Yeah, yeah, y'all can come in. Cause they wasn't letting that shit happen last year, right? Did mm. you even have games last year? We had four. Only four? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Like, I only... Technically, we had, like, six, but I didn't play in the last two because I was sick. 
Because they some bitches. You know what I'm saying? Bro, nah. See, man, see now I got to praise this man real quick, bro. What? Nah, because I really be getting mad when I don't be peeping you don't be playing. Because I'm not even trying to neck. You really is on some nice motherfucking shit. I appreciate I hate, it, bro. I hate playing against you, though, bro. Why? Because, bro, you be doing the most. I'll be like, damn, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? bro I big gangsta. I told people, bro, if you got me-ish... You on the on the team, bro. Be cheesy, bro. Be low key Yo, cheesy. me, you, ish, uh, UJ, Ivy, Loki, we could win the whole thing. Bro, that's what I'm saying. If we do a tournament next year, let me get let me get prepared for my knee for y'all, bro. <laughs> One day, bro. Fleet Bands to- tournament. Nah, bro. we should definitely do a tournament next year, bro. Fleet oh like what uh uh men's league? Yeah, bro. I think that's what Ivy and Chi Chi was doing, bro. I think so. I mean, I'm gonna be retired eventually. Steve be doing that too. He be doing that church that church league though. Oh, I remember. I think he, him, and Theard brought me one time. Theard. Yeah. Yo, bro, would you would you live on a tropical island? Would I live on a tropical island? Nah, I don't think so. You wouldn't, bro. If I lived on a island, like I would feel like if I lived on an island, say I lived in Hawaii, I would not feel like an island is like a vacation place no more because I'm so used to it. You're so used to it. So like, I don't think. Would you live on an island? I, that's what I'm saying. I might move to like like if I wanna if I wanna feel island vibes. That's what I'm saying. I'm not even trying to net Cali. I'll, I'll go to Cali. Over there is loud, then that's just quiet. Exactly. So I, I can deal with that quiet though, bro. It depends. I don't know. I was gonna say it was kind of weird when I, moved, when I went from North to Union. I was like this. I don't hear no more sirens outside, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he fuck, was in the slums, bro. The fucking sirens at, bro. Everybody, we used to use, yeah, block used to get shot up where you used to live, bro. Bro, no, I only only had like two shootouts in my Irvin, and it was like twelve o'clock at night. All I heard, I was like, what the fuck, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. He was in, living in Boys in the Hood for real, bro. Hey, bro. Those are days I started watching my ASMR to go to sleep, bro. I said, I need some shit to peacefully put me to sleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I advise people to watch ASMR, bro. It's so peaceful when you go to sleep. It's bro. nice. I like watching ASMRs and Bob Banks. Ross, Bob Ross. Bob Ross? Bob Ross, bro. Who's that? ASMR? You don't know who Bob Ross is? He does ASMRs? He's, he's a painting. He's a, he's a painting. He got the afro. I probably know who he is, but I just... Aw, oh, you sell it, bro. Don't know, bro. <laughs> Yo, he's like a goat, bro. I look him up one of these days. You gonna know who he is, bro? I probably do. I probably do. Just he's didn't a know painter. his name. He got a black background. And he does ASMRs. He don't do ASMRs. What's he do? He just talks softly, but you you that's low key. What you go to sleep listening to soft spoken men? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Oh. Not even like that. Just motherfuckers touch a certain part of my brain. I'd be like, oh damn. Let him go to sleep, bro. I think this is where we end the podcast because yeah. it's getting a little weird. Yo, motherfuckers necking you, It's bro. getting a little weird. Because I find peace in my sleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but thank y'all again for tuning into episode seven of No Regulars Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Thank you to my brother oh, coming right, and bro. showing love. You know what I'm saying? Finally, coming after all these freaking episodes. Big spooge. Big spooge in the building. You know, we're going to have you back in another episode one of these days. We're going you know to get more active on this, you feel me? We just, got, this is just, it's just a startup, you feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got more, a hell of stuff to talk more about. More mics, more people. The members, bro. Only, only the only gang the can members, be on there. Here, only bro. the fleet, fleet bands. Fleet bands mob. Ruckus Newark, J. J part fleet bands mob anyways, though. You know what I'm saying? Gangsta. But yeah. Follow us on all the social media platforms. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Comment down below. Post notifications. <laughs> And everything, you know, TikTok, no regulars. We we already hit 400 followers on TikTok, bro. Bow. Big gangsters, bro. Shout out to y'all, bro. Y'all my gangsters, man. Y'all the family to us. You know what I'm saying? Get in tune with us, please. We yeah, love get y'all. In tune. Instagram, no regulars dot podcast. Um, audio is starting to stream on most platforms. We're already on Spotify, Anchor. We're good. We're trying to get to Apple Podcasts. We're gonna get there eventually. And you just gotta pay a subscription. I'm being lazy. But no Sorry, regular bro. podcast, no regular podcast on Apple, not Apple, uh, Spotify, and yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? We different, they regular, no regular, man, gangster, Yeah, Sersky.